Hi folks, John here from Western Sydney Aquarium Plants. This is a quick video on how we grow valve. So first of all, I've got a bucket here, and I tend to cover the bucket with uh, you know a big piece of plastic to prevent um, uh, you know dragonfly eggs, mosquito larvae, and all sorts of nasties from getting in there. A lot of um, flying insects tend to have um, larval stages that start in the water, so obviously I want to minimise contamination. So I put a plastic top on uh, on there. And the other benefit of the plastic top is um, there's an aerator line that goes through here as well. Um, the aerator uh, will increase water tension, which increases evaporation. You can see water bubbles in here. Um, and that helps in winter to keep the water nice and warm. Um, Val will grow in the winter, uh, in the summer, but the chance of survival, the chance of looking quite nice uh, is uh, more likely um, in summer so this prevents it from freezing over um, and obviously you know growing quite, quite optimally in summer autumn spring and winter um, and the next thing we'll do is I'll just lift, lift the lid here so with this technique I'm able to get maybe you know um, somewhere between seven and eight new plantlets uh, every week we've got a co2 line going through there and then we've got uh, aerator lines going through there and inside the bucket we've got the right formulation of um, liquid fertilizer and on the bottom of the bucket, uh, bucket is a mother plant uh, with the right kind of uh, substrate. We do use aqua soil um, down the bottom um, and sometimes we use um, soil that regular soil that we've treated and um, prepared properly um, there are if you're just starting out or if you've got a fish tank you don't want this sort of murky look uh, we recommend uh, that you use um, aqua soil that we recommend so if you buy a pack from us if you want to look at the vowel that we sell this is what they look like okay now if they get too long and your tanks not very high you can certainly trim the valve down okay um, it's advised you just go halfway and then you can trim that and then over time the valve will learn to not grow so tall and so bushy uh, particularly if it's taking over the tank or you can just remove the valve and chuck it in a bucket or you know throw it out but that's exactly how we grow them thanks